Hello everyone, this is Shotanik here. We are back with the solution of today's position of the day. Today we have a more mover by the celebrated Austrian composer Stephen Schneider. And this was composed more than 60 years ago in 1956. The position is before you. If you haven't tried it already, feel free to pause the video and give it a good think. Okay, the solution starts with 1, bishop to a4. I would like to begin by saying that generally such long problems are not unduly difficult as one might imagine. They are, in many cases, just about finding a series of single move med threads. The scenario in this problem is exactly that. Bishop a4 threatens a mate in 1 with bishop d7. So the threat here is bishop to d7 checkmate. What does black do? Well, the black king doesn't have many choices. It has to go to f5 with the hope of escaping via e4. And now white goes bishop d7 check. Black goes king e4. White plays bishop e8. Again, threatening checkmate on g6. So now bishop g6 is a checkmate threat. Black king again doesn't have many choices. It has to go king a5. Now comes bishop g6. King e6, bishop h5, once again threatening mate on g4. Now the threat is bishop into g4, checkmate. So again, the black king has to come back to f5. Now white plays bishop into g4, check. King e4, bishop d1, king f5, bishop c2, and now king e6. Well, so let's take a stock of the situation here. We have already made eight moves. But what have we achieved? Well, the only thing that we accomplished so far is that we have managed to get rid of black's pawn on g4. If you look closely, this position after the 8th move, bishop c2, king e6, is same as the initial starting diagram, except that there is now no pawn on g4. So our starting diagram was this. Observe that we, ha we had, an, had a pawn on g4. But now after 8 moves, this pawn on g4 is gone. But how does this help? Well, just pause your video and try to find it out. Yes, I hope you spotted it. Now there's a simple net in 2 with f5 check, king into e5 and here comes f4 checkmate, a beautiful pawn mate. So just go, let's go back and take a stock of what happened, what we have just seen and just recap what we have just seen here. So in this starting position, you can't go one f5 right away because after king into e5, f4 check, black has this on passer, g into f3. And there is no checkmate. And that is why what white has to do is he has to take this light squared bishop on a long trip and carry out this elaborate maneuver with bishop a4, bishop d7, bishop e8, bishop g6, bishop h5, here, here, bishop c2 check, and then king e6. And now once we have gotten rid of this g4 pawn, now we can play f5 check. And after king into e5, f4, there is no on pass anymore. So yes, this was the idea of today's problem. I hope you liked it. By the way, if you want to study some more examples of such round trips of pieces, then do check out the link to an article in the description below. We will be back with a new position tomorrow. Till then, Take care and goodbye.